Savage Finance. Because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. Welcome to another edition of Savage Finance. Today we're going to talk about side businesses and hustles and why you need to have one in your life. Currently, we have all types of craziness going on. The world is on fire. There are many people who are being laid off left and right. And I have a few stories to share with you to illustrate the purpose and the intent and the reason to have a side business while you have your job. If this is your first time at Savage Finance, what I want you to do is go to the front of the channel and to begin watching the videos from the oldest video up until the current video to get your economic education to become financially literate in today's world. So I understand that most of the t advertising is targeted towards you to quit your job and do less and make more money. How's that working out for you? Because I'm gonna tell you something a little different and I'm gonna tell you what worked for me. When I had a job, I started a side business. When I had a source of income, I created a secondary source of income. I have never in any of my YouTube videos advised anyone to quit their job and start a business. That's not what I did and I'm not going to suggest you do the same thing because I know the reality of starting a business and how long it takes things to shape up. So what I want you to do, I want you to keep your job. If you still have one, I want you to keep your job and I want you to employ the principle of doing more. When you deploy the principle of doing more, you get more out of life. This is none of this internet marketing stuff where you only get to work one hour or four hours a week and you get to make all of this money while you're hanging out with baby Babu and Big Booty Betty. The reality is you gotta work hard. The reality is you've got to stand up for something to be somebody. And the reality is you're not going to get high income working less hours per week. That's just not, there, there may be some geniuses out there who can work an hour a week and make 500,000 a year, but that's pretty much in the same rim of being a Super Bowl winning quarterback. There are people with these skills to be dodging all of these big linebackers and cornerbacks and find the open receiver. That is such a high demand skill set. There's only a certain amount of individuals on the planet who can do it. And that's why NFL Super Bowl winning quarterbacks make the money that they do because everyone is not that talented. So just because you know that Ed over here is able to work an hour a week and make $500,000, there's something special about Ed and that ain't normal. It ain't normal. So I want you to let all of this stuff go because part of the reason I'm doing this video is I want to condition you to have the mindset to be successful. And a lot of the trash out here isn't going to condition your mindset to be successful. They're just pretty much out to get your money and that's all it is to it. So going back to my experience, I was in a bad economic experience I was living in substandard ex conditions and this is how I got out. I got a job, then I got a better job, then I got the ultimate job. And while I was at that ultimate job, I started my side business. This is how I went. I was selling brand new office furniture. Now understand, I was still 100% commission which means I actually had to sell something to get paid. I, you know, they didn't care if I came into the office or not. I had a nice big office. I could come and go as I please. Nobody was checking for me. That's why I call it the ultimate job because it was 100% on me. I could do what I want. I could make what I want. If I wanted to work really hard, I could make a lot of money. Now, one of the things that people don't seem to understand is a miscalculation of their personal ability. 
even though I was self-employed, I was, you know, 100% commission, I still needed some more seasoning. And this is why I started my business. Actually, it all, it, it just, it was like an accident because I had this client, JDA, that was like, if you would sell our used office furniture, we would buy new office furniture from you. And I took it back to the guy who owned the company. He's like, we don't do that, let it go. And I was like, you don't do that. But I went ahead and I formed an LLC and I had a written contract with this company and I used my connections to sell the used office furniture. And this dramatically increased my income because I was still getting paid from my company and I was getting paid from my job. And I kept my job for about seven, eight months before I fully went off onto my own. And part of the reason that you want to start your side hustle while you have a job is businesses are like infants. A business is just a baby. It's just a little baby. And what do we know about babies? They take time to grow up. You would not expect a baby to go get you a glass of water. You would not expect a baby to mow your lawn. And I think it's for the lack of information that many people expect their baby business to fully support them before it's old enough to do so. One of the things I want you guys to understand is your business is a baby. It's a baby. It's a little, little bitty baby. And so many people have this felonious uh, concept that because you started a business, you're supposed to be falling out of control just like that. And that's just not the reality because even though I started my business when I had a job, it took me some while to grow into it. And also I used the connections that were developed on my job for my business. This is where I was able to sign up for my wholesale accounts because they knew me from my job. They, I had already established relationships, so it was just a matter of me seasoning up a little bit. And this is the process that more than likely you're gonna go through. You're not just going to quit your job and like, I, I know that's the dream, that's the fantasy, that's what so many people want to do. I, I get, understand that. I feel that, but once again, and this isn't to be insulting or belittling or talk down to you, but more than likely you're underestimating your abilities. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some practicality to that. If you had the abilities to be a millionaire, why aren't you one? Serious question. Because one of the things when I shut down my storage auction business and came here to YouTube to start a YouTube channel, I knew I had to do a lot of things. I didn't come here thinking like it was gonna be easy. I didn't come here with no preconceived notions that I was gonna instantly blow up. I knew that it was gonna take work and dedication. I knew this. And I feel that many of you don't know this because this is why so many of you are predicated to these scams and this is why you get tricked out your money because you're looking for it to be easy when it's just not going to be easy. Because first of all, there's the balance of showing up and keeping your job and running your business. And this requires the principle of doing more because now I had it a little easy because I didn't have a schedule. I didn't have to come to the office. I had keys to the office. I could get in my office whenever I wanted to. So if I didn't show up in my office for three days, I didn't get a phone call. So that's why I call it the ultimate job because I had a lot of freedom. I had a lot of perks. I had an assistant, but it was, a, it was still a, a, a balance because, you know, I was out there making sales calls for the company and I was out there making sales calls for me. And that was a direct conflict of interest because there was some, we used to get leads. And if you don't know what a lead is, this is when you get a targeted piece of information saying that someone is in the market for furniture and I use some of those leads for my business, which was a direct conflict of interest, but at the point I was moving on. And one of the things I want you to understand that starting a business, I wanna, I wanna pull out the fantasy, I wanna pull out the wildness because here on the internet, 
you could see someone start a business six months and they make a million dollars and they'll put that out there and it's a wonderful story it's a true story uh, on the internet you can make a fantastical amount of money in a very short period of time it's happening every day but one of the things i want you to ask yourself is what is that person doing because a lot of times it's just demographics like if a young YouTuber who, who is a millionaire makes a YouTube is like, hey, I'm a millionaire, that's automatically gonna get more views because it's like, because people are more relatable to a younger person. It's like, he's the same age I am. Let me listen to him. Maybe he could teach me a few things. Whereas someone as myself, a little older, I should be in a good financial position. So it's just not as appealing. So you you gotta look at why people are successful versus that they're just successful because these people could be extremely hardworking. They could be extremely talented. They could be like that NFL quarterback. So one of the things you've got to understand is starting a business is not rocket science hard. It's just not, but it, it takes a certain level of craftsmanship and skill levels and if you start to go like this that i need to obtain these skill levels i need to become a craftsman in my business i that's puts you on the right track because i understand that every day you're bombarded by these ads that are telling you can quit your job in two to three months you'll be making 20 30 40 50 60 70 hundred thousand dollars a month and i i want to be the bearer of good news that could eventually be you two to three years from now after you've become seasoned after you have acquired some skill sets after you have become a craftsman in your business and one of the reasons you want to start your business while you have a job is remember the business is a little baby and the business is going to eat up a lot of the cash that's the food for the baby but you need to still pay your mortgage and car payments, whatever. That's why you keep your job. So you're able to serve two masters. So the baby's able to eat, you're able to eat. And this is why so many people who quit their job prematurely have to go out, get side jobs, have to do Uber because they quit their job too quickly. So you gotta think of making more money because essentially when I started my side business and I had a job, that enabled me to get attitude money. I made a lot of money very quickly because I was getting two paychecks. I was getting the paycheck from my baby business. I was getting the paycheck from my job. So this enabled me to rapidly ramp up my savings account. I, at that time in my life, I have never seen that much money. At one time I looked into my checking account and I had $200,000. I didn't have any bills. I, I, I was just in such an incredibly good situation because I didn't just quit my job and went with that because after I took on this assignment with my business, I also closed another big deal on my job. So it was just money coming in. And this, you know, and I was working, I was working probably 70 hours a week. And this is why I, I, I urge you to adopt the principle of doing more because there are so many people out there who are trying to do less and less is going to leave you in a lackluster state. I know that so many people are telling you, you can cheat the system. You can get around it. You don't have to do this. And once again, going to that NFL quarterback, they don't, they don't have to um, play by those rules that you and I do. Because here's the thing, you'll see someone who'll start a business and they'll be wildly successful, just like there are people who are naturally slim. Right now, there are human beings walking around this pan planet with six packs and they don't work out and they eat whatever they wanna eat. Seems unfair, but they exist. There are people out there who are geniuses. There are people out there who have mathematical skills. There are people out there who have crazy hormones and body chemistry that they look like they lift weights and they don't even touch weights. So when you're looking at someone and their results, you gotta look at did they have to work for their results or were they blessed with their results? 
and you got many people out here who are trying to like here on YouTube, if you want to be successful, be a funny gay male. Plenty of channels blowing up with just funny gay males. Or if you want to be successful, be a person who's transitioning. That seems to blow up. Or to be in an interracial relationship with a family YouTube channel. Those blow up because it's the content. It's not so much the person. Like right now, one of the things that's blowing up is these stimulus updates videos. There are several YouTubers who are literally getting two, 300, 400, 500, 600, a million views a day on their stimulus videos because it's the topic. So you got to understand, cause you know, uh, in my video marketing group, this girl, she's like, oh, I did one of these stimulus videos and I got like six, 7,000 views overnight. And people are like, oh, your hard work's paying off. Hard work had nothing to do with it. And this is one of the things that you've got to look at when you're looking at these people who are successful and you have to look at the totality of their situation versus just thinking, well, if it happened to them, it can happen to me. More than likely it's not. There's a certain reason there is a top percentage of people. And these top percentage of people usually have resources, assets, or personal attributes that the average person just doesn't have. But here's the good news. If you want it, you can develop it in time. This is all I ask you is don't quit your job. If you still have one, I know we have a pandemic going on. A lot of people, jobs are quitting them. But if you, you have a job, keep your job and then start your side business on the side. And at what point does one quit their job when it interferes with the side business? I had this lovely story from my first internet uh, digital asset, making money A to Z with self storage and auctions. I had a client who had bought the book and he emailed me and he said, I just got laid off today. And I wrote him back, man, I'm sorry to hear that. He said, don't be. I make more money doing storage auctions. So he was someone who had built up side income to replace his job income. So when his job let him go, he got a benefit package, he got unemployment, and he was making more money from his side business than he was from his job. That's a beautiful situation. And this is why I say don't quit your job because you could be developing your side business and you could get a package and you'll be getting money and unemployment for that job for many, many months. More money just coming in to help you be successful. Because one of the reasons I'm doing this video is an attitude adjustment. I want people to win. I want people to be successful. And I feel that if you get the God's honest truth, that the chances of you being successful dramatically go up. And it's about commitment and time. If you commit yourself to your side business and give yourself two to three years, not two to three months, but two to three years, beautiful, majestical things will happen. All right, that's my message for you today. And there should be another video around here. Check it out.